Welcome to Harry Potter University. Today we delve into the lives of Neville Longbottom, Ginny Weasley and Luna Lovegood after the Second Wizarding War. Join us as we unravel their stories beyond Hogwarts. Neville Longbottom Let's start with Neville Longbottom. After the Wizarding War, Neville briefly worked as an Aura. Sometime afterwards, he either sent an application to or was offered a place on the Hogwarts staff by headmistress Minerva McGonagall, and ultimately landed a teaching job in the Herbology Department under head of department Pomona Sprout. Throughout his new career, his students would come to be impressed whenever he showed them his Dumbledore's army coin, which he and other DA members kept as a keepsake and had come to be seen as something of a badge of honor. Neville also became the head of Gryffindor House after McGonagall went on to be headmistress. Seated alongside his former professors and fellow head of house, Pomona Sprout, Phileas Flitwick, and Horace Slughorn. Later in the school year, during a detention session, Neville introduced his old friend Harry Potter to the students when he visited the school. Harry and Neville recalled the numerous adventures they had gone through when they were in school. At some point during the 2010-2011 school year, Dementors initiated an attack on Hogwarts Castle. Neville was their first victim, being attacked by a Dementor when he was picking herbs with students in a forbidden forest. Rubius Hagrid arrived soon enough and took Neville to the hospital wing. After he recovered, he participated in the all-out battle that followed. Sometime during 2014, he married his former classmate and DA member, Hannah Abbott. The pair lived at the Leaky Cauldron, where she became the landlady. Hannah had retired from being landlady as of 2014. She and Neville were childless and scathingly reported by Rita Skeeter as enjoying a little more Odgan's fire whiskey than most would expect from custodians of our children. Whether this was true or simply another scandalous rumor from Rita Skeeter is unknown. It was reported by Rita Skeeter that Neville was the godfather of Harry's second son, Albus Potter. Luna Lovegood now we move on with the life of Luna Lovegood. After leaving school, Luna became a famous wizarding naturalist, traveling the world in search of strange creatures. She discovered and classified many species that had never been encountered before, but was never able to find the crumple-horned snorkak. Thus, she had to come to terms with the fact that there are some things that simply do not exist. Luna married fellow naturalist Rolf Scamander, grandson of Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them author Newt Scamander. Considerably later in life than Harry, Ron, Hermione, and Ginny, who all married and started families in their early to mid-twenties. According to Rita Skeeter, Luna wore a wedding dress decorated with rainbows and spangles, and a tiara of silver unicorn horns, which her husband supposedly looked at her with a shocked expression. This dress was voted most hideous outfit of the year by readers of Rita Skeeter's regular Daily Prophet column. The couple also had twin sons named Lorcan and Lysander. Luna and Rolf attended the 2014 Quidditch World Cup, along with the rest of her friends in Dumbledore's army. She wore robes made of the flags of all 16 qualifying countries, but her twins were at home with their grandpa and did not come. At the 2014 Quidditch World Cup final, she sat in the VIP boxes with Dumbledore's army and her husband, which might have been because he was trying to prevent his wife from putting on one of her famous special event hats. In 2019, she met at least one of the members of the recently created Statue of Secrecy Task Force, whom she dazzled with her knowledge about the many ways in which magical creatures protect themselves. Luna also instructed them on how she performed the Stamina Charm, which instantly improved their casting both when used on themselves and teammates, and allowed them to accompany her in her search for Bowtruckles and Thunderbirds to mentor them on how to detect and look after them, improving their focus. Ginny Weasley The last character we're going to discuss is Ginny Weasley. After the Second Wizarding War, Ginny and Harry rekindled their passionate romance. For several years, Ginny was part of the Quidditch team, the Holy Head Harpies. At some point, she and Harry were married and her last name became Potter. She eventually retired and the couple had a family. She gave birth to three children, James Sirius, Alba Severus, and Lily Luna. Ginny later became the senior Quidditch correspondent for the Daily Prophet. In her capacity as Quidditch correspondent, Ginny attended the 2014 Quidditch World Cup in the Pantagonian Desert. 
While here, she wrote several articles for the Daily Prophet using her married name, Ginny Potter. Her family joined her to watch the finals of the Cup in July. Ginny covered the outcomes of the Brazil vs Bulgaria match live along with Rita Skeeter. The latter, while in the journalist's enclosure, repeatedly made corrections to Ginny's reports. This continued until shortly after the match ended. Rita remarked that her husband Harry Potter was publicity hungry, just as Ginny was approaching. That last remark sailed a bit too close to home and Rita was taken uncountably ill with what some called a jinx to the solar plexus. On the 1st of September 2017, Harry and Ginny escorted their children James and Albus to the Hogwarts Express, where Albus would begin his first year at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. By 2020, Ginny was the sports editor for the Daily Prophet, while her husband was promoted to head of Department of Magical Law Enforcement. By this time, all three of the couple's children were attending Hogwarts. In the same year, she joined Harry Potter, Hermione Granger, and Draco Malfoy going back in time to save Albus Potter and Scorpius Malfoy and thwart Delafini's evil plans as written in Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. As we conclude this video, we thank you for joining us at Harry Potter University to explore the post-war lives of Neville, Luna and Ginny. If you enjoyed the journey, don't forget to cast a like spell on the video and subscribe for more magical content.